late evening. You have tuned into Headlines Now with me, Linda Hercules. Let me take you through the top headlines of the day first. The group of ministers on telecom headed by P. Chidambaram meet to decide on spectrum pricing for the upcoming 2G auction. After Pranam Mukherjee, now Hamid Ansari, the divide between the Trinamool and the UPA continue on the name of the Vice President. AIDMK Chief Jayalalitha calls for a meeting of her party's MPs and MLAs ahead of the presidential polls without mentioning purpose. A diesel price hike on the cards, the government will be looking for political consensus to push the hike through after the presidential polls. Vishabhati issues an unconditional apology to the Class 5 student who was forced to drink urine by a hostel warden. The government scales down the diplomatic ties with Denmark after the refusal to challenge the turning down of the extradition request of Purulia Arms Robert Hughes Kim Devi. Teacher eligibility test in Chennai gets through with minor glitters, see 70% women turn out. Legendary Lesnar and actor Tara Singh dies this morning, tributes pour in. Chennai welcomes a cool respite from heat as thunderous rainfall grace suburbs. News in detail. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has told NDTV that his party has not yet decided whether it will support a second consecutive term for Vice President Hamid Ansari. The election for Vice President will be held in August. The Congress is working on building consensus around Mr Ansari among its allies in the coalition it leads the UPA. A meeting on Saturday in Delhi has been called to discuss the vice presidential candidate of the coalition. The Prime Minister had phoned estranged July and UPA member Mamta Banerjee to ensure she will send a representative for the meeting. As far as the vice presidentship is concerned, the UPA has to decide whom they want to put up for the post. We have told the Prime Minister that uh, we would like to have a, a person who is not belonging to the Congress party uh, to be the Vice President who will have stature and who has a distinguished background. Now it is up to them to decide. We will then respond after that. Moving on, the empowered group of ministers on telecom headed by P. Chidambaram is meeting to take a decision on critical issues, including spectrum pricing for the upcoming 2G auction. This after the Supreme Court ordered the cancelling of 122 licenses that were allotted by the then telecom minister A. Raja. Chief Minister Jayalalitha has called for a meeting of AIA DMK's MPs and MLAs on the 18th of July, a day before the presidential elections. The AIA DMK chief stated that the meeting would be held at the party's headquarters under its presidium chairman E. Madhusudanan. Without mentioning the purpose of the meeting, she asked all party MPs and MLAs to participate without fail. India is likely to raise diesel prices after the uh, presidential polls on the 19th of July, as the government attempts to cut the amount of money it pays out to keep prices lower. Oil ministry sources say that the government heavily subsidizes diesel prices as the fuel powers much of the economy, especially in farming and transportation. Moving on, Jagadish Shatta took oath as Karnataka Chief Minister of the state's third in four years. Along with Mr. Shatter, a new cabinet was also sworn in. The highlight of the event being outgoing Chief Minister Sadanand Gowda seen seated next to Mr. Shatter in a show of solidarity. An expanded cabinet was a result of the blueprint which sources said was devised by central BJP leaders to overhaul its state units. We will give a, give a good governance and uh, transparent government, corruption-free government will give and uh, immediate our attention is to tackle the drought situation in the Karnataka. That is our first priority. Wherever the problem of the drinking water is there, immediately we will attend. Already our government machinery is working regarding that and uh, we are going to proceed immediately in the war for... On a parallel note, Chetta rubbished a private complaint filed against him in the Lokayukta court, alleging irregularities in land notification by him six years ago. I have no concern about that case. I have no concern. It is a false case filed. Uh, I will uh, take a legal action against it. Before taking the decision of uh, installing a new chief minister, senior most leader Sri Lal Krishna Advani, the iron man of BJP, was in tears. The world wants to know what made him to weep 
for BJP in Karnataka? Is it because of the of the ban on the iron ore mining or the people who are behind the bars because of the illegal mining? People wants to know. Bharatiya Janata Party has to change the. They have to change the nomenclature. It has been proved beyond doubt. Their first Mukhya Chief Minister went to jail because of the corruption. The second uh, Chief Minister did nothing. As, as a non-performer, he had to go out. And the third, which is coming in, is already in a controversy of 150 <coughs> acres of land. The complaint has been filed in Loka Yukta. We have to see the result. Earlier today, the central government accepted before the Supreme Court the auction route for allocating 2G spectrum. Attorney General G.E. Vahanwati told the Supreme Court that the centre favoured auction for future sale of spectrum. But the government has yet to decide on whether it favours auction for sale of all scarce natural resources to commercial parties. More local and national news awaiting you on the other side of a very short break. Stay with us.